Okay, so for this question, I'm seeing two points. I also notice that the last point is the y-intercept, is which is negative three. So that's nice. And the reason I knew that because x was zero, right? That so that's on the y-axis. So I got to find the slope. Then then just write the equation. And let's see here. Let's get this board working right. Okay, so I'm going to write the points. So they're in a row, so I can write and talk about them. Now, if we use Ms. Nutt's method to go from five down to negative three, I got to go down eight values. To go from negative three to zero, I got to go up three, positive three. So that's the slope. So really, at this point, I'm done. I could write y equals negative eight thirds x minus three. I could write plus or minus three. That's not bad, but let's keep it concise. In fact, if you look at the answer, I'm sure that's what they're going to have. See, so it's okay to write plus or minus. My math will take it, but um, that that's more clean. Now, if you don't like that method and you already shut down because of that, let's think about the slope formula. Remember, we're going to do x1, y1, here, let me clean this up a little bit. Here, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. This is x sub 2, y sub 2, and the formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, so negative 3 minus 5 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Remember, y's over x's, so 0 minus minus 3. Well, minus a minus turns a positive. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. 0 plus 3 is 3, so we get the same answer. Okay, so hopefully that helps.